Hello and welcome back to the podcast. Uh, this month we're doing another commentary and it's the commentary for Vincent and the Doctor, an episode written by Richard Curtis. So, I have two guests with me, unlike the usual one. So I'll start off with the usual person, who's basically used to this pain by now, and that is Amy. Hello, I know what I'm getting, to, <clears throat> getting into. Although, I think you actually quite enjoyed the last episode we watched, as, as much as you wouldn't want to admit it. it you might get drunk the night before, so I'll probably... <laughs> yeah, you were, still, you were still drunk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe. But I, yeah, I, th- I got the sense that you enjoyed no, that two-parter. I did, two I did enjoy it, yeah. You know, you, it was the highest rated episode in your thought, in your... Was it? Ranking, I can't yeah, <laughs> yeah. You gave it a nine. Oh, I did. It's been oh, a yeah. while. It's quite high. Yeah, it was. It was a long time it ago. The Christmas ago. tree was still out. Yeah. Um. I mean, the I facade. Think it was. Yeah. It was. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. New Year's. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. So the facade of um, like how I film these things is just completely out the window now. There was a Christmas <laughs> tree and it was May and I was like, nah, it's not gonna work. Um. But we also have a second guest this time and somebody who has watched very little Doctor Who. Very little. And she even put her None. face on for this very video. I did. <laughs> it, Exposing it, her like yeah, that. Yeah. yeah it's true. Han. It's Han. She's here. Just about. The only reason I'd watched Doctor Who is because it came on after Strictly Come Dancing. <laughs> and I didn't want to go to bed early when I was a kid. So, so yeah. dad would watch it with me and I'd get scared and then go home. And cry. Go home. Go home. Because <laughs> <Go home. laughs> I'd watch it at my grandma's. So then I'd oh. go home and I'd be like crying all the way home because I was like, there's scary things. So. Do you remember, was there anything in particular? So or now just... I can give you a lift back when you cry thing. from this side. The face. The skin pull. That's Star Trek. No, there's one. Oh, did you know There's one on Cassandra Doctor Who. With the, yeah, which is like the last human and it's just like this big like sheet of skin. Yes. Yeah. Whoever thought of that needs therapy. Russell T. Davis. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of it. Um, yeah, so that was, that was, that was quite interesting. I'm surprised you remember that, but it's weird the things that stick, stick with you. Stick, yeah. Horrors. Anyway, moving on. Mine was the angels. Yeah, angel. Yes, we we have many stories about the weeping yeah, angels we that many cannot be mentioned on the podcast. <laughs> um, <I'll take> that. <laughs> but what oh, I was going to say so long, is oh so obviously you don't really know what we're getting into Mm-mm. because you're joining the final third of a series, so everything's a bit of a unknown to you. Probably the same for me. I can't remember. Great idea to you know. Yeah, but me. yeah, neither does Amy. Well, I'm sort of pre-planned, <laughs> pre-planned. Um, but I mean, to be honest, I don't think Amy remembers because the t- the time between series or episode filmings are so big that it's quite difficult to remember what we did last time. It's been more than a year now we've started this, isn't it? It's been about two years. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so cute. We I started know. doing filming these two years ago, and the last time that we did a recording session, she told me that she fell asleep <laughs> during one of them. <laughs> then. It's after I was on site. Yeah, she was on site, and then we're filming. And I, I was in bed, and I slowly just got more comfortable, and more comfortable. And then I just like, snoring. And then I, no, no, then I woke up like I don't know, like a minute later after Dan was talking. Dan was obviously talking in my ear, and I woke up and I was like, Shit. "Take that as you've got a really good soothing voice." No, he, oh, I actually yeah. I was a bit of a twat, and I blamed it on connection issues. <laughs> he was like, "Are you okay? Is connection all right?" I was like, "No, my phone's gone down." <laughs> I can imagine you panicking as well. I was as well. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know. Dan's voice was very weird for me. I thought, I thought God? Was no, <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah. So what would you rate this one, Amy? What? What? Wait, what uh, are you? Uh, with angels, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because you really didn't like that episode, but it no, turns I out didn't. you were just asleep the entire time. <laughs> so you couldn't remember a thing of it. Not the entire time. It was, it was afterwards. Was it? Yeah. Was it, it was just... when we started rating it. Oh, right. Okay. End. I was like, the, you know when you slowly like, oh, the episode's going to end soon, I'm going to sleep, I'll be, and then I just slowly went... Oh. <laughs> God, God. and that was it oh, but right so our next episode then is Vincent and the Doctor it's about Vincent Van Gogh oh, the yeah. painter cool. oh I think okay. I remember seeing it in the um... mm-hmm. yes and I thought I so, said that I liked we're with the painter Vincent Van Gogh and the Doctor and it's, what, it's, it's, it's what's known as like a historical story but nowadays historical stories don't really work because there's no way you can literally just have a full plot with no aliens whatsoever so there is some sort of alien presence, but it's definitely not the main thing. It does focus a lot on Vincent. Uh, but the writer of this episode, which I think is why I thought that it'd be quite cool to have more than just one person on this one, is because it's written by Richard Curtis, who wrote a lot of what well, most famous rom-coms in, in British history, like Love Actually. And... Oh, I hate that film. Okay, good start. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. <laughs> Terrible hate, person to have I on the podcast. Love Actually. Why, you told why? me about this. The yeah. Holiday is so much better than I haven't seen that. Such a good film. Honestly, watch it. It's my favourite, one of my favourite films of all time. Is it our plans tonight? It's got Jack Black in it and um, Diaz. What's her name? Cameron Diaz. Cameron Diaz. Mm. 
and Emily. Oh my god, that narrows it down. No, um, what's she called? And Emily. Emily or Jessica? Hold on, I'm gonna go. I don't, I don't know the last name. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing to do with the Hoot Ho- Ho- podcast, but uh, now it's gonna annoy me, so I have to Google it. We were shamp- uh, shampooing. We were googling shampoo. Mm, why are we googling head. shampoo? Oh, we're talking about, about hair. hair. Very girly conversation. <laughs> I have them every decade or so. What, of hair? No, girly chat. <laughs> oh right. <yeah. laughs> also, my man crush is Jude Law. Oh yeah. What, yeah. what a man! Really? Uh, Kate Winslet. I was completely off. That was I love Kate. Emily Winslet. and Jessica. Emily. I was like, Jessica, I was like Emily Kate. Blunt. I was yeah. like, no, that's not right. Okay, yeah, that's completely off. Oh, and John Krasinski. John, John Krasinski. Oh, yeah. Chef's mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Okay. Well, anyway, sorry. Anyway, that's what I, what I was talking about was completely <laughs> burnt out the water with the fact that she doesn't like love, sorry. actually. Uh, but I should have realised this because I remember during Christmas time you telling me how much you didn't like love, actually. Yeah, I just don't like it. No, but he's he's done other films like Vicar Dibley. You like oh, I British, love Vicar Dibley. Vic- Absolutely classic. You like a lot of British comedy, Dawn don't French, you? Dawn so. French, what a woman. Yeah. Mm. So he wrote some of that. Uh, Black Adders, I think. Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, one of my dad's favourites. I don't really want to get it wrong, but yeah, that com- would be embarrassing. He's a comedy it? writer, um, so and it's occasionally, funny. Doctor, it's, it's <laughs> not, it's not funny, but no, it's just sort of, funny. it's sweet how it's got an amazing, amazing emotional heart in it. A lot of people do cry, and the scene, there's a scene in this episode. A lot of people, not me, but a lot of people. Side eye. A lot of people, a lot, not not me. I'm too big to cry. Um, a lot. <laughs> sure. sure. A lot okay. of people uh, really like this episode and um, end up crying at the end of the story. Right, then let's anyway. go on the show. But with that crushing uh, emotional burden on the horizon, we should probably get started. So we're going to be going into uh, the episode very, very shortly. Uh, if you're following along at home, you can uh, watch using BBC iPlayer. You can use other like DVDs and stuff although iPlayer has for some reason some idiot DVD. thought that they'd have different cuts of different episodes on different platforms there was different timings I swear when we yes. were doing it yeah. so now that we've corrected that because I didn't know that was a thing I thought it was only certain episodes but it turns out every single one is slightly different and I still haven't worked out how so remember as we're going through you can talk as much as you like about it and what's happening? And if so you're I was going to be asking what everything is. Yeah, yeah, that, that's, what's that's that? basically <laughs> what we do. We had a twelve-minute conversation about which doctor was which in the last one, which was cut. But oh yeah, it was. Uh, it, I mean, it was painful to look back on. There was a lot <laughs> of just. Have, and the which one was the to, first one? To edit Dan must have been yeah. painful. <laughs> which one was the first one? Oh uh, no, that was that uh, William Hartnell. I, was like, I thought David Tennant was no. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, that's okay. But anyway, on the count of three for everyone at home: one, two, three. More wheat town, look. Footsteps. <laughs> Never trust a caption. I swear he's in everything. Yeah. But Bill Nye, Bill Nye, is it Bill Nye Bill or Nye Bill Nye? Bill Nye, the science guy. Not, it, that's Bill Nye's the science guy. I meant Bill, Bill Nye, is that right? No, I don't know what his name is. Yeah, I think it's Bill Nye. He appears in a lot of Richard Case projects, you see. Because your fucking boyfriend's dead. <laughs> yeah, you missed that, that one last time. <laughs> She's forgotten the everything because he was eaten by like a, t- a like tiny wake up with amnesia. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you know they're being cancelled now for five seconds. Are they? Fucking Ellie they just asked me to go and see them in concert. I don't think you're going now. <laughs> Is that his pre-era? Pre-era? Era? Ear? You're so no. funny. Dan, laugh. <laughs> Do you not get Sorry. it? He's actually Do you not get it? <laughs> I'll cut it together later. <laughs> Do you not get it? <laughs> I hate kid actors. They're so annoying in this show. I also hate kids. Yeah, true.
You don't need to zoom in, mate. It's going to zoom in oh, for you. I don't know that. You don't need to look in. Stupid question. Is that actually in Van Gogh's painting or have they done that for the sake? They've done that for they've the done that. And for is it. that actually one of his paintings or have they done that for Maybe. The I, I think know. they are actually his paintings, yes. Okay. Well, yeah, obviously, obviously, that the, obviously the sunflower was See, That's the classic. That's the thing with Doctor Who is you can do some sort of, like, you can do oh, some time wimey stuff and you can go, how did he, you know, who gave him the idea to paint the sunflower? That kind of stuff. Sounds like you. Like me? Yeah. Why do you think I wore make out a, a bow tie to your bow tie? <laughs> Why is it with you and making no, characters the, make out? No, it's because they were both like, oh, I like your bow tie. I like your bow tie. Right. I'm fucking kiss already. Right. Right. <laughs> Sorry, the, I've but, got a problem with that. Their, their clothes are really close. I just go, kiss! <laughs> <laughs> she has done that many times. Um, it's just they stand so close to each other. But I would doctor, never go stand that close to someone. Intro? Pardon? For every doctor, do they change the intro? Uh, yes. The music... Yeah. This is the one I remember. Changes quite a lot, yeah. But it's always it's similar yet different each time, so it's kind of Fire. interesting. Like if you go on the internet, you can. I mean, you're not going to. But if you went onto the internet, you could find lots of people that have made their own title sequences and have slight variations of the music and slight variations of what you see. Right, makes sense. Sorry. Oh, there's a cat. Yes. Um, She's interested now. So do you know when it was your birthday, Hannah? And I wore a, bow, I, I a red there, yeah. a, a red bow tie. I yeah yeah. yeah you looked well, like the dog. It may have been. Yeah, I know. A coincidence. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it may not have been a coincidence. <laughs> I'm looking at the photo now. It's so cute. No, oh, it's over there, isn't it? Yeah, dressed to impress. There I am. At least I didn't. Right, at least it was not like you a matched, Amy. pre-made one. Yeah, you matched me. Yeah, it's really cute. You know, your boyfriend's actual bow tie it was more of just like a like a, a fabric awful. mess. Really, like, you couldn't it's do it. It was a fake one. Yeah, oh, no, his was real. Was his it? Was a re- his was a real one. Mine was a fake one that just clipped on. It's because he has a real one for cadets. Mm. He's just been ages since he had to wear it, so he forgot how to do it. And he was rushing as usual, so. I think this cafe is also one of his paintings. Oh. They should have said tab. That would have been a nice rhyme. She's directly behind me. I have yeah. no idea how I saw her. <laughs> now, it's Amy. It's a ginger thing. <laughs> What? what were you going to say <laughs> you were, then? I was like, you're going to... Get, get, get. Mm-hmm. Sorry. How observant. Sorry. How observant you are. Oh. Ginger baby.
there's of, co- of course a bit of a, a sad note to the whole thing that she's flirting with Vincent Van Gogh, Van Gogh because before, even though it didn't stop her, she was engaged with Roy. Yeah, with Roy. Roy. Was it Ray? Roy? R- Ray? <laughs> I don't know, I can't remember. Rory, yeah. Rory, that's it. Yeah. Rory, Who Rory. Amy did not like to. I hate him. <laughs> Just a bit of wet wipe. Is she dead? It's not like sepsis now in those days. Do you remember the one with the vampires? I wonder if these streets, are, they're very similar. They're just lit differently. I wonder. <laughs> it sounds like my house. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that hat is god awful. <clears throat> it's an iconic hat. I mean, it's good. <laughs> Hitler was iconic, but he wasn't good, was he? <laughs> no, no. no <laughs> See, everyone going around with that fucking moustache. You had a strange way around it, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, Amy. That, that didn't even track. <laughs> no, it didn't. Like, it's on. How well do you guys know the paintings? Not Vincent well. At all. I know you like to. Okay, well, this might be interesting for you, um, because I didn't obviously know the paintings when I watched it because mm. I was eight. Mm. But because of the episode, you see obviously parallels to the paintings that actually feature and how all of them yeah. are things he made and they're just recreations of it. So for someone that really likes bits of Van Gogh. A go. It's a fucking big hustle, this eh? would be a. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so she. Uh, then this would be. A, um... I have not got big forehead. Though, uh, then this would be a um a really interesting episode for them. No shagging then. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you really have a problem. <laughs> she just really wants. Amy to get her end away. Like, really. Oh, dear. How did Shakespeare... Shakespeare? How Shakespeare... <laughs> He's also in this, but he was a. Van Gogh. How did he even become famous after he died if he, if he was a no one? Um, Someone saw it overnight or something, didn't they? I don't know. Yeah. I think I think it's one of those things where like his paintings... Uh, once he was dead, people looked at his paintings and went, ooh, but then there was a finite supply of them because he was dead. Mm. So there's no paintings. That, uh, the, uh, you know, that was, that was the collection. That was the whole. And then I imagine many of them have been lost over time. I don't know which ones, but I presume there have been more. Um, and led to where it is now. I don't know how many still remain. It was, it was the doctor. <laughs> it was in the other room. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure oh. how well this has aged. <laughs> this bit. 
like nowadays, if you saw people fighting an invisible enemy, it would be so stupid. They wouldn't get away with it. Why can he only see it? Pinsel. Is that what you meant by nature's, like, nature's calling? He can see other things. Mm-hmm. Or he just hasn't say, taken his six schizophrenia med- medication. That's Well, that's the question, isn't it? Is he actually seeing an alien? Like some kind is of creature? Or is he just mental? <laughs> you know? Is he just... Is it just a part of his psychic episode? <laughs> What's like episodes? It's going to be the same one that was in the church, isn't it? Mm-hmm. He's gone with uh, charcoal for this one. Told you. Not important. It's me in the morning. <laughs> it's like Hugo's claws. <laughs> yeah. Why is that hot? <laughs> I was going to say, why is that creepy? Oh, you, you pull that out. Who checks now on your one? My concentration period. <laughs> like, I can't see that. They did him so nasty with that hair. They did. His hair's are twice the size of his head. Mm. Looks like a wig. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it suits you because it's not the twice the size of your head. His hair is just... It's it's very long, is yeah. what you mean. I don't know. I think he gets away with it. I think it's a look of the doctor, yeah, but... What have you done with your hair now? I don't know. I've just... I've moved it for the joke. <laughs> I can do that for you. That's any better brightness to see it. <laughs> so You've gone from why was that so hot to <laughs> why is that so cringe? There's the first doctor. Right. Oh, here's the other doctor. Now. Dong. Gainsborough. Mm. Not the location. Don't fucking go to Gainsborough, mate. <laughs> I've got about three shops. Like a chicken. Yes, we're chicken sheep. Parrot well. thing. I also like he kind of he looks like he's wearing a papoose. <laughs> you can just imagine the right. They just a got maybe Vera. Huh? I can imagine the like the writers having a fight with a chicken. And then, like, <laughs> do you know what? I'm going to make this into a crazy thing. <laughs> well, you say that, but Will is actually scared of chickens. Oh, it's so funny. Because it's a so chicken funny. Ch- chased him as a kid. Well, yeah. yeah when, we, when we did a thingy, when we did that uh, NCS. There was a chicken coop that he had to walk past and he, he legged it next to it. it so fun. And then we Aww. we all held him next to it just to annoy him. It was so funny. Yeah, but well, I'm, so scared of, I'm scared of chickens and of goats. <laughs> I don't like goats. So funny. Uh, as we've mentioned, we mentioned this before. I'm going to buy a massive painting of the goats and I'm going to screw it to the wall so he can't get it off. 
I, I think more about the images of goats. <laughs> I think it's more the actual thing. <laughs> it's it's like a Miranda know. episode, isn't Go- it? Ah! It's like a Miranda episode. Ghosts. She says, ghosts. Who has any strong opinions on goats? Dad. <laughs> Incorrect. In fact, that's Hannah of all people. <laughs> I don't snore. No, but you sleep a lot more than I do. I, I got five hours last night. Yeah, because you're out. I, yeah. I hated that. I was not out. You just <laughs> cry myself to sleep. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> me, how many plants does he want? That like penalty. I'd love that. I'd... Right, go on and down. That's what I want. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't. I can't stick loads of still sunflowers in the garden, mate. Eh? Fucking hell! Everything's compact with them, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, trying to draw a sunflower is very, very difficult. I mean, You're good at art, though. F- no, but flowers. Uh, well, yeah, I can't do faces. No, you can't. Can't do faces. I don't think you've ever seen me draw a face. Uh-huh. Um, I did art with you. I could do. Well, I could do buildings. Yeah, you could do buildings. Um, the GCC, it just GCC thing was good. And I got an A level one as well. Oh yeah, you did, didn't you? Hmm. Um, but I know did Vincent Van Gogh. Kind of, I kind of do wish I did other things than just buildings because it. They I only re- did cars, didn't I? Yeah, because they re- you made me do cars. They require me. like a sense of square. No, as in they require us. <laughs> there has to be a mean behind what you draw, and I've drawn a building. Yeah, I know <laughs> like... what you mean, yeah. There's nothing behind it. So then you really have to force things in. Yeah. I mean, I haven't painted in a very. I haven't done any art in a very long time, actually. Doesn't want her to go. Mm hmm. Very thin head. He's got a very thin head. <laughs> what him? This is what you two are like when you go to the cinema. Oh no! Oh. No, I'm not know. allowed to. No, when we go to the cinema, I get a nudge occasionally. When we watch Batman, but half an hour in, she went, "Are you enjoying this?" <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I don't mean to be creepy. I just genuinely care. Yeah, like, you sound like Batman when you say it. <laughs> I did want to know because I wasn't. I, just... I hated it. <laughs> She, yeah, well, she didn't like the beginning it was sh- or the shit. middle, so but she liked the end. the end. She liked some of the end. It was alright. And I thought I liked it yeah. enough. I was just like, mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. last thing I watched in the cinema was Jackass, and it was, I hate it. I, hate I can't this. watching, I can't I watch people in, the in pain. Yeah, I just find it, the, I don't the so fourth, funny. 4.5, I don't know, one of them. The newer one? Yeah. Well, what we'll, the last we'll thing be... I saw, I think it was one I'm with you. Yeah, I haven't been to cinema for a while. Yeah. Cinema buddies. I don't know why we're talking about cinema in two episodes. Sorry. Too, but we are now. We need to book next week. We do. We do. <laughs> Please. Can, can we do it before we leave? Yeah, I'm we're going to go see Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. Sweet. I'm Groot. Right. Exactly. Well done. <laughs> well James done. keeps walking up to me and going, Rocket dies. <laughs> Hate him. We don't know that. Because I've got a baby rocket thing, so why would there be a baby if it didn't die? Mm. I think that's a flashback. Hopefully. Oh shit, he's having a fucking. He's just trying to tuck you in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're just massively undercutting the drama of some of this. Yeah, of are. his mental health struggles. We're trying to fucking mm. cinema. Our contract's ended. Well! Do a few more paintings. <laughs> Just pass them down. It's the hat. Armed with a paintbrush. Yeah, why do they do cinema? C- cinema? Oh my god. Sinister do do? music for that. Then. I think it's what they're about to go into.
No. He pronounces his own name incorrectly, doesn't he? Yeah, because go in it. It should be go. Look, he's seen your bitch, Matt. Sorry, the doctor. <laughs> You look like my sister. No. <laughs> Wrap but, it up. No, she, well, she's crying because it's, she knows he dies. It's the residual from Rory. Oh shit. Yeah. She doesn't know why she's crying. Yeah. But she is. Or well, maybe that maybe that was Van Gogh the uh, go thing. <laughs> oh god it's not like she's dead it was <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the fuck is that in her hand oh I'm sorry Oh, I should say that next time. That's good. Sure thing. I love that. Was he actually? Did he actually have depression when he killed himself? Maybe. Yeah. No, but before though, yeah, that's suicidal. Yeah, no, that's still depression. I, yeah, it's, yeah, always, yeah. It's, a, it's a thing, part of it, but it's not the same thing. I don't think many people just for a day have depression and they go, "Oh, it's true." But, <laughs> but of course, it's at a the built t- up. You can have suicidal yeah. thoughts though and not be depressed. Of course, at the time, Vincent, what Vincent Monk go, goes struggles were not seen as being anything. To do with like a mental health struggle or anything like that. It was the, it was mad, but it was insane. Yeah. Because back then they didn't have the words, did they? Mm. Mm. And that's what I think. Yeah. Whereas this... now we have names for things, yeah. we have diagnosis and all that stuff. Good yeah. <laughs> 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 answer, <laughs> Carol well, How the hell would it get in? Go. <laughs> Me when I got near to your fence. I'm armed with some more <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're getting it. Your boyfriend. <laughs> Ginger's Plot lies. twist, he kills himself because Amy left. Mic Ooh. drop! <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I just can't not laugh at it. Imagine me with my child in like 10 years. <laughs> it's a robot baby. <laughs> the mirror. Because I can't front. be asked to have all my stuff. <laughs> Put a uh, door wing mirror on it and then jumped in. <laughs> Needs to be good at parallel parking. <laughs> I'm brilliant at parallel parking. She is actually very good at parallel parking. Not very good at forward bay parking. But no, you're not. I'm good, I'm good at parking. reversing. I'm good at reversing. No. Actually, <laughs> last time I took Becky to work, I stopped <laughs> while doing the while parking. It's not the worst thing to do. No, you can only just pass the lead. Mm. Relatively speaking. Why would a chicken growl? It'd be hilarious. Not a chicken. It's not a chicken. Yes. If it clucked, it would be so much funnier. <laughs> it's not supposed to be it's funny. Be, it's not meant to be funny. It's not meant to be funny. still. <laughs> Imagine if he just had TikTok Live. <laughs> just on there. Streaming. <laughs> Stream it. 
Please send me some hearts <laughs> and coins. <laughs> send me gifts. Why are you funny? This is the trouble when you're fighting something you can't see. Mm. Everything seems out of proportion. Yeah, that's why I find it so hard to blind people. Like whatever that just was. Baby! It's a weird name. And it took me many, many years to realise that the sonic screwdriver effects were added in post because I always thought he walked around and that made the noise as oh, he no, did it. Oh no! All post. Just... And I was like, "Oh." Sorry, God, for how I've sinned. No, <laughs> like confession. No. <laughs> it is. It's a confessional. In church when you go to confession. I know. Uh, did you watch Fleabag? I've never done that. I don't mean either, don't worry. I'll be there for years. <laughs> Can I book out a slot? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Vicar. Can I just book in next year, please? <laughs> I've got a lot of things. I'm probably going to do something else this week, so if you book me yeah, next yeah. week. Yeah, duck. Ah, hey, hey. Oh my god, it is like a chicken. Yeah. Chicken with air moss. It is a bit like a chicken. It looks like half the people we went to school with. It's a... ha! Duck. Weird chicken creatures. Mm. Yeah. We were obviously the elite. The peak. <laughs> we, <laughs> we were the peak. Oh dear. Screw this generation. I would like to think I still haven't peaked, but we'll see. <laughs> Dan's had his glow up. Yeah, to be fair. Me and, me and Hannah still waiting for us. Right. Oh shit. Take the chair. <laughs> Sorry, that's so <laughs> shit solution. It, it was quite stupid. <laughs> Do you know where this was filmed? <gasps> Who? You hear that? Amy Rory. Who? Amy Rory. Are you proud? I'm getting things now. <laughs> it's only mm. taken me fucking ten episodes. Uh, I don't know where it's filmed at all. They tend to film a lot of Doctor Who in uh, Wales. Yeah. Uh, but I can't remember where they filmed Series 5. You see Anton Deck at the background. <laughs> that was left. <laughs> in the same castle. <laughs> Could have been. But Can you pla- imagine that I was slim? You just see this chicken <laughs> running through the camp. The doctor, it's not you. <laughs> Amy, it's not you. <laughs> Van Gogh, it might be you. <laughs> <laughs> so, Van Gogh, oh, this week's Bush Dogger Child. That shouldn't be funny, but it is. Ooh. I've got warm now. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, wrong door. Uh, oh, shit. Mate. A roommate. Sounds like me. When a guy enters the room. Hi, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to know why he can only see it. Here we go. Let's get out. Mm-hmm. 
it does look kind of silly. <laughs> That's what I mean. I don't think it aged particularly well. Although it probably didn't look good at the time. Just went to the phone. You just couldn't be asked to do all the CGM. Exactly. It was a bit of a money saver. I'm not a chicken. Oh. That's so tragic. In in universe, in the episode, it makes sense. But like when you think of it as just him just standing there, just going like this, sitting there, just, yeah, it makes sense. It looks Let's weird. just zoom in on the hand. Oh wait, mm. no. Oh. Oh. Ginger. Year sevens. What well, I mean, they are just. Sorry. Year sevens are built different now. <laughs> yeah, they are. That's what I mean. It's year elevens we were scared now. Back in our day, we used to be petrified. Yeah. I feel bad for the creature now. Did they just leave it there? What do you do oh. with it? Hey. What They're in do? love. Let's go. Oh. And, and, <laughs> and the doctor. <laughs> Got sweaty hands don't want to touch me. <laughs> Oh, is that a starry night? No. Oh. Yes. Yeah, starry night. There right, we go. And then, ooh. I'm so good. I was, I was going to say, I was like, you might get this one. Then Amy fills his garden with sunflowers. Earlier in the episode as well, so. Look at us. What, we finally worked out the sure. obvious thing <laughs> that this episode is trying to portray. <laughs> Yeah, I watch the same things over and over again because I hate watching new things. I'm the exact same. No, oh, well. it's it's you're in the wrong place, mate. It's the unpredictable. It says see. the man that watches Doctor Who over and over again. That's fair. Sometimes I listen to it. If he watches, he, yeah, well, he watches things that are by the same company. It's not completely new. Mm. And I watch other shows as well. Wait, you can't watch two shows at once. No, I can't. He has to watch one show and completely finish it and start listening. That was a weird pick up line, wasn't it? And I've done some kids. <laughs> She's pumping her. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like a multi pack. <laughs> You don't buy them off the shelf. <laughs> Get a batch. Get a batch mate. Can I not be an M, Dan? Seriously. Oh, right, okay. Enters B&M. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> that was quick. Oh, I think I've so seen where the is next this bit. Set? It's beautiful. I think I've seen the next bit on TikTok. <sighs> Thanks to you sending me those stuff. I didn't send you it, but uh... I love that. Finny. They've covered his box. I mean, he's been covered in worse. He's got some in the eighties. They someone painted it pink, <laughs> bright pink.
plus six on you. <laughs> that stuck with me, that ketchup and mustard gag. Tried to build a TARDIS once. And we had a ketchup and mustard. <laughs> right, here we go. Yeah, it's just a bit awesome. Yeah. He's going to show him his own paintings and things. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's quite sweet. Yeah. But then would he have killed himself if he knew he was going to do well? That's the question, though, isn't it? Yeah. Or would he have done well if he but didn't But he wouldn't have enjoyed himself? painting it as much as he knew. True. If he, was, if he continued and made a dozen more paintings, then would his painting... Well, a great spy. All artists, kill yourself, then you'll do well. I think he's a bit of a rare case. I don't think that's the, the <laughs> message they're trying to... Yeah. It's a beautiful shot coming up. I think it's just one of the best I shots. I would love to go to this. Yeah. I think they, I think this is the actual place. Mm. Where is this? London? London. Yeah, yeah. The I want to say the Louvre, but that's not right. That's where Mona Lisa is. Or has they're been. not Tate Modern? Or is that different? No, be Tate Modern. I don't know what it is, but there's something so weird to me that these paintings cost millions and millions and you can stand that close to it. Yeah. Like, you wouldn't see, like, a diamond just sat on a thing, would you? But then the thing is, you know, um, the Mona Lisa you can't go up close with. Mm. I thought I would cry. I'm actually crying. Would you would you not just like turn around and be like, is that Vincent even off? No, you can't see him, can you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> We got Amy. I actually crying. We, oh, we got please. Amy. We got Amy. That was the intention. I hope to get both <laughs> yeah, of you. Just got mate. one. Ran out of tears left to cry. They layer it on quite thick, don't they? Ho 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 That's my favourite. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. It is Roll on credits. <laughs> it's a very popular story from this series. Oh, I fucking love that. I actually forgot it was Doctor Who. But here, here here comes the sort of the bit of sweet bit, right?
That is a weird shot. <laughs> The same. Pardon me. I didn't know he killed himself. Mm. I didn't know that. He cut his ear off as well. Yeah. You'll see that later. <laughs> Wagon hands. Oh my god. Kiss. Sorry. Even I'm crying, Sorry, I'm still saying kiss. close to my face, I'd have to kiss them. That's what I mean. Just to make it less awkward. In it. What? Legit. Really? If someone, that's the, I would only ever get to someone's face if I was going to kiss them. Well, that okay. or I punch them. <laughs> yeah. Or I butt them. <laughs> Why are you crying? The monster is gone. So the monster could be his internal monster? No, no, no. no, no, no. no. I'm going too far with it. The English lit is coming out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't. It's it, his demons. <laughs> it was an actual monster. But there had to be a threat. I imagine at one point draft that was his actual thing. Because the parallels are there, aren't they? Oh. Oh my god. Oh, I'd be sobbing now. This is my name. This is my name. <laughs> Use it as a superpower. <laughs> Some guys are sort of more yellow, but. Aww. So cute. And it wasn't scary, thank God. Well. Corden. It's the Corden episode next. I know her as well. Why is he the same in everything? Because <laughs> he looks the same in everything. Because he is the same. <laughs> And then it's that episode, and it's a it's a very light hearted episode that yeah. one. And then it's time for the finale of series five. Oh my god, already? Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Mad. Right. So that was episode ten. I was actually crying. Off the board. I'll let Amy. Com- I'll let Amy compose herself. For Do you know a, what? Deeper. Just more quickly, I just want to say. See, obviously, you know Russell T. David did did uh, Davis yes, yeah. did a bit of Sherlock. He did. That- no, hang on. No, you mean Stephen Moffat? This the, the, the he wrote this. No, he didn't write it. The guy who's... Wait, was Stephen, Stephen Moffat involved in this? Stephen Moffat's showrunner at this stage. Oh, so he did not write it? He didn't write this episode, oh, but he's show, he oversees everything. Oh, it doesn't matter then. Um, doesn't relate to what I was going to say. He, he over... Yeah. <laughs> oh, he, the only reason I was going to say it, because that line, you know when they were talking about the good things, the bad things, everything, the nice little monologue, we always do that, don't mm. they? Like, nice little monologue. I was saying in Sherlock, there's a few episodes, there's a few bits where they do like a monologue, and it... Oh, which one is it? I think it's the um I have it on my Instagram, that's how much I like it. That's so cute. Okay. Yeah, but you, you never know how much of it though was written by Richard Curtis and how much of it was Stephen Moffat. Yeah, that's the thing. Because obviously he was, he was involved in every episode. Um it's not that well, I thought it was. That's Hound of Baskerville. That was Hound of Baskerville. yeah, but it was the quote that I put underneath it. Basically it's just some of the scripts that is just beautifully written. And mm. I was saying it, it sounds like the kind of thing that Stephen Moffat would write, but if it's not Yeah, well it, it, I think all of it's like you have to keep the tone consistent so, because Doctor Who can change so much. I think that it's important that even though you change things, it still has something that co- like Continuous. goes across the entire stuff. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of that is that you have a companion yeah. doctor relationship that, that works quite well. Um, I so. Wants to kiss all the time. <laughs> according to Amy, that's that's what it is. But obviously, there's the in that episode they couldn't just leave the the Rory stuff. Like he he died in the last episode, and they leave it. Yeah. 
and keep, then yeah. they have to keep mentioning it and just bring it so that and it's just the fact that I'm more of a marriage yeah well she wasn't though even things. when she was with him mm. she wasn't and obviously it doesn't mean much she... to you but not a close straight from the head yeah, yeah I, well, I, I, I didn't really think about that to be fair. Um, but I think you're going to watch it all in as a Next week, yeah. This well, time next week? Next week, we'll binge more. Um, <laughs> but, so, I'll start off with you, Hannah. And uh, how did you uh, how did you feel to that one? No, I actually really enjoyed the episode. I've seen the last part of it, which mm. I enjoyed. Because I do watch snippets of it on TikTok, because you send me, for some reason, Matt Smith, and what's the other one? Um, David Tennant. That's the one. He comes up on And my sometimes TikTok Dalek first Yeah, I used to. Well, yeah, and he sent me a Dalek first trap, yeah. which is the worst thing I've <laughs> ever seen. So I'm not on TikTok later. anymore. I'll do you now send them to her? It's it awful. I'll show you it later. Like, literally sat there. He away. basically used to. I've just wasted people. I've wasted 20 seconds of my life with that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I sent it to her. It's very good. It's just video Dalek. I think that the um set, like, the setting is really cool as well. Because normally, sometimes with them as well, like, they're. Not like dull, but they're quite melancholy. Yeah, like a bit near. Big, big word. Words. Big word. <laughs> not used those big words since like five years ago. So. Mm. But no. But it is. Though, enjoy I it. agree with that because I would watch are. it again. You, you get it. But I don't um, like. <laughs> you to. I don't like the chicken. No, I think the chicken. That is pretty, one the, of the, the worst point. creatures they've made. That is horrendous. But, it, but their the... creatures are shit. So let's be honest, they are. Yeah. Not all of them. It made me think of Sarah. You got so defensive then. That was quite a bit Sarah Jane Adventure. Yeah, some of our but shit. I'm think... never going to look at a chicken the same. <laughs> I'm just going to start roaring at it and be like, you shouldn't <laughs> cluck. <laughs> With an easel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pinch you now. <laughs> yeah. I'm afraid, I'm afraid. So Amy, you, I think you've already given your score. I really but like would that. you like to back up your 10 I really 10? like that, yeah. Um, I think I liked it more as well because obviously I know of Van Gogh, so there's something I can relate to already. Mm. I know a bit of it. I'm not, I'm not completely new to the whole story, which is what I liked. But yeah. I did really like that. It was really nice, and I like emotional stuff. Mm. I mean, <laughs> so so, like... I mean, in, the, in, the, in these ten episodes, you've had a lot of different variations of yeah, stuff. I have. You've had like alien planets, uh, Earth in the future, weeping angels, yeah. vampires mm. in Venice. Um, oh, sounds romantic. Yeah, uh, a mining well, it's town. Not, it's not. It, it wasn't a mining town in in twenty twenty. Yeah. Um, Salarians. Did they ever yeah. move forward? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. the The second episode that they made of this run mm. was uh, called "The End of the World." When they get this is when that skin face skin flap. Oh. Cassandra was in it. Brilliant. Uh, Cassandra. It's terrible Cassandra. name. Yeah. yeah. No last, offense. Last human alive. Sorry, she, everyone's called Cassandra. She had all the Cassandras out there. <laughs> <laughs> she had lots of plastic surgery and stuff so that she kind of became thinner and thinner. But she was so codependent on other people moisturising her. So is that what Simon Cowell's going to look like in like 10 years? Yeah. Well, that's, <laughs> that's what it's supposed to like, poke fun at, is the idea that everything is trying to be smoother and, and flatter. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Sorry. But you've, you've experienced quite a lot, but you think, 10 out of 10, this one, best one yet? I loved it. I, it just seemed interesting to me that as you've gone through, I, I don't. I think it's since we started doing them in person, you've definitely enjoyed them a lot more. I think yeah. it's because you've been forced <laughs> to watch them. No, I, I don't know. I just feel like I'm more engaged in it. Mm. It's the brownies because I can get. Yeah. Well, I can get. I think. What does Wendy put well, in I'm them? the kind of person I get distracted very easily. So yeah. If I'm if I'm watching it at home, I can just go on the phone and I'm watching mm. it. Whereas this, I'm actually engaged. I'm fully in it. Um. So yeah. Yeah. And I'm I, being held hostage. There's a bayonet over there. <laughs> there she is. Hostig. <laughs> um, Hostig. Um, but for me as well, I feel much the same that you do because I think that a lot of the time, I mean, I can't remember the last time I watched this episode. Um, but when I'm watching 12. it with you, no, it was most recent. Twelve minutes ago. Right, yeah. Oh, we got you. <laughs> yeah. um, but the last time I watched it, uh, I kind of know the plot so well that there's nothing that really like. That scene of with in the in the gallery it doesn't mean a lot to me because yeah. it's just that scene in the gallery. Yeah, I'm not, like, I understand how you can be an emotional sweet it is yeah. and how emotional it is, yes, and I respect that. But it becomes more respect than actual like yeah. crying. Actual, yeah. They need to get on afterlife level, you know. Yeah. You cry every time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did. I, yeah. How I did mean, you? So out of ten, what's, what's your verdict of the episode? Oh, I mean, this is. I'm asking you now because you normally ask us. Yeah. <laughs> Go to the producer. Pull the mic. Pull the mic. Pull the mic. I was going to do it with the mic. We're going. Oh, it lights up. Yeah. 
Thanks for touching it. That helps. Hello. Sorry. Yeah. So we're going for. for a really long time. <laughs> we're going for about nine point five for me. What, what, what's the point five? The point. The point five here? off is because the monster's kind of flipping weird, <laughs> and I don't think it's aged well. Like the bit when he kicks it and to close the door and stuff like that. Yeah. And the plot itself just needs to get to the bit in the gallery. Yes. Um, but the gallery redeems the episode. Mm. But it needs to get to that bit in the gallery, and by doing that, it's just sort of plodding along a little bit. It's got a plot, but it's when it comes to the episode as a whole, you're not going to remember the bit when the Doctor runs around trying to find an alien that's in a painting. It's rather simple, but you remember the bit with the art gallery. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it's the most watched scene on YouTube, and you've is obviously it? seen it on TikTok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, of, of the Doctor YouTube channel, I think it still is. It, um, I'll have to check, but it's the most watched oh, video. Yeah. I kind of wish that they found out that he was blind before, because that seems like very rushed. Yeah, you know I mean? it was a bit rushed actually. I agree with that. Like they're like blind, so they're like, oh, dead. He's turned it, and they, yeah, they're like, oh, he's blind. Now we feel sorry for him, but he's already dead. Yeah. Like we need more empathy for the blind, blind chicken. chicken. <laughs> the blind chicken. Justice <laughs> for the blind chicken. Like Justice for the blind chicken. Justice for the blind chicken. Please put that as a hashtag. Yeah, you've got to. <laughs> oh dear. <sighs> Right, well, thank you very much That's for such a uh, great way to end. for sit- sitting through this. Thank you, I, all I you hope, blind I, chickens, for watching. <laughs> <laughs> I hope, I hope well, listening, not it. watching. Yeah, I hope you did enjoy it. I hope you actually both enjoyed sitting through it. I no, did. It's fine. I'll do it again. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so that, um, <laughs> So say that like, you put you in for the next three months. Yeah. No, that's fine. Constant, like. Hey, <laughs> man. Han. Han. No one Doctor Who. Yeah. Um. Although I am currently watching through a lot of the older ones, like before the 60th anniversary. Yeah, right. Because I'm insane, and I, I haven't watched them. Wow, I haven't pro- watched them properly, like in order, in a very mm. long time. I'm doing very badly. Um, at the minute, I'm only on like episode eight uh, of series one. Bro, you've got a lot to catch up on. It's called The Empty Child. Uh, yeah. So I'm not doing too. Well. I've got till November. Like therapy. I've got. I've got. I've got till November. Um. Oh, it's not like you've got ages. I mean, it's, it's about six episodes a week. It's because he has a job now. True. Yeah, I got. I work oh, too much now. <laughs> Hang on, I, Big boy job. I haven't got enough time, and I'm watching Moonlight again, so everything. Oh, you and Moonlight, honestly. What's Moonlight? It's all I hear about. Oh, it's his favorite show. He loves it. He talks to me all the time. It's his favorite show. He talks to me all the time. I haven't watched it, but he's when we talk about, it, he's like Moonlight, and I'm like, it's okay. but it's about a year old now, and Moonlight, Moonlight is a is a Marvel thing. That's exactly why I don't have a clue. Yeah. So whereas I do with it's that, yeah. I can do, I can do my, excuse me. It's on Disney Plus. Oh, I thought you said it's an autistic thing. Then. I don't know about what? Dog. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I don't want to know Cut. what you two are talking about. Amy didn't say anything bad until like the last 10 seconds. Where I like before you've got maybe three or four cuts where I've I've put up the the panel that says uh, like Amy's said bad language. Or something like that. So I think it, I swore twice. I'm yeah, sorry. yeah, I mean you can I swear, you can swear, but it's some of the stuff that Amy says you can't actually put on. Without yeah, I'm being pretty bad. I've been good this episode. Massively done over. Um, but... um, I've been good. I've so been on my best. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> best bet is because oh. I haven't seen it. Yeah. Right. But anyway, so thank you very much for listening, everyone at home. If you want to check out the rest of the podcast episodes and the rest of our commentaries, you can do uh, on the rest of the Who podcast, as well as being on the link tree uh, below. If Will was here, we'd start naming um, platforms. Do you want Spotify. To... Boom. Deezer. Boom. Apple Music. Boom. Got good year. YouTube. What did you just say? Yeah. YouTube. The forgotten one. The YouTube. forgotten one. I said streaming Spotify. near a place near you. Yeah. Near a place near you. <laughs> near a place near you. You have to plug Just in and get anywhere, it. anywhere, down with there, and I'll talk to you about it. <laughs> live. <laughs> <laughs> we do it live, yeah. <laughs> Each I get time. It. Just down with the mic. Almost every day. <laughs> but yes, you can find them all down below. So, as well as any other, anything other. Not in Hannah. Okay. I mean, down below. <laughs> anything else of interest is also down there as well. So, thank you very much, and we shall see you. <laughs> Soon. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Do you know what I was going to say? But I realised it, it would expose your location. What's that? <laughs> location, location, just him, location. Just him with the mic in <laughs> like this. <laughs> <laughs> bark, in escape bark. Bark. <laughs> Anyone? Anyone want to listen to my podcast? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs>